this video covers the structures found in insect pollinated flowers and the functions of each of those structures. There's a lot of vocabulary to take in in this video and you might find it useful to fill in this notes sheet as you go along. The link to the sheet is in the description. Also, just before we dive into the structure of the flower, if you want to learn how to do your own biological drawing of a flower, I've got another video that guides you step by step on how to do that. The link's in the description, along with links to my other videos on plant reproduction. We'll explore why insects are so important for flowers in a different video on pollination. But for now, trust me when I say, this type of flower has evolved to be very good at attracting insects. Let's start with the petals. These are large and often brightly coloured to attract insects. Flowers often have nectaries in them. As the name suggests, these produce nectar, a sugary substance that insects feed on. This provides a good incentive for insects to visit the flower. Most flowers have both male and female parts, and this part here is the stamen, the male part of the flower. You can see four stamens on this diagram. At the top of each stamen is the anther, the function of the anther is to produce pollen, which contains the male gamete, the male reproductive cell. This long, thin structure is called the filament, and it supports the anther. This central structure is called the carpal, and this is the female part. At the top of the carpal is the stigma. This is a sticky structure that pollen attaches to. At the bottom of the carpal, this large structure is the ovary. The ovary produces the female gametes within the ovules, and the ovary will later develop into the fruit. Those ovules I mentioned are found here inside the ovary. You can see six ovules in this diagram. It's within the ovule that the female gamete is found. The ovules will go on to form seeds. This long structure is called the style, and its job is to support the stigma, and to connect the stigma to the ovary. There are a few other parts that are relevant. There's the stem, which supports the flower and raises it to an elevated position, making the flowers more accessible to insects. The receptacle is an enlarged part of the stem, which connects the stem to the flower and supports the weight of the flower. Lastly, the sepals. These are there to protect the flower bud before the flower blooms, and they help support the petals after the flower has bloomed. 